Landlocked and languishing at the crossroads of South and Central Asia, Afghanistan has been carved up and altered by countless peoples. In the days of the ancients, Neolithic tribespeople arrived here from the Indus Valley. Then came the phalanxes of Alexander the Great, ranging over the greater phalanx of mountains that is the Hindu Kush to end the Persian dynasties of old. Let's explore the best places to visit in Afghanistan. Number 1 Kandahar The revered home of the Mosque of the Sacred Cloak and a city steeped in history, Kandahar sits at the crossroads where southern Afghanistan meets the mountains of the country's heartland. The traditional seat of Pashtun power, it was the capital of the last Afghan empire during the years of Ahmad Shah Durrani. Number 2 mazar e sharif The cobalt domes of the Great Blue Mosque shoulder their way above the skyline of mazar e sharif glowing white-hot under the scorching bulk sun. Famed as the burial site of Ali bin Talib, the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad himself, it's a gorgeous array of arabesque and South Asian architecture, complete with turquoise blue domes and gold-peppered minarets. Number 3 Jalalabad Founded, like so many other cities in these parts, by the Emperor Akbar, Jalalabad is a place where the passage of ancient time is virtually palpable. You can often just about make out the snowy peaks of the Safed mountain range on the horizon, and imagine how the Mughal armies would have felt as they contemplated them way back in the 1500s. Number 4 Balkh Hailed as the epicenter of the Bactrian Empire of old, the aged town of Balkh has a history going back almost 4,000 years. In fact, it was here, high up in the gaps of the northern ridges of the Hindu Kush, that Zoroastrianism and Buddhism first flourished in these reaches. Today, the town is hardly the noble capital it once was, but there is a certain palpable history to be found amidst the buzzing bazaars and emerald-hued green mosque. Number 5 Herat It's easy to see why Herat, the third largest city in Afghanistan, has such a Persian flavor to it. The town sits just a stone's throw from the Iranian border, and it was once the home of the Timurid dynasty, a lineage that fused elements of Turkic, Persian and Mongol culture in their time. The great piece de resistance of the city is the Friday Mosque. Number 6 Samangan while the town of Samangan is an ancient caravan stop on the periphery routes of the old Silk Road, that claim to fame isn't actually its major draw. That honor goes to the mysterious cave complexes of Takhti Rostam that carve their way through the dusty ridges of the mountains nearby. Number 7 Bamiyan For lovers of culture and religious history, the Bamiyan story is a very sad one. In ancient times, the place was known as a hub for Hindu, Buddhist worship, and it thrived with artisans, monasteries, and, especially, sculptors in the ages before the Muslim invasion. In fact, the two giant statues of the Buddha that stood here were considered some of the most elegant 4th and 5th century carvings in all of Asia. Number 8 Faizabad Backed by the cracked and chiseled passes of the mighty Hindu Kush, Faizabad sits hidden its very own remote enclave of the northern Afghan mountains. The location is what defines the town, giving it that rustic, backwater feel. You'll see galumphing donkeys strutting the streets and beady-eyed, bearded sheep farmers wandering the bazaars. Number 9 Bandi Amir National Park The breathtaking reaches of the Bandi Amir became home to the first ever national park in Afghanistan back in 2009. It's easy to see why too. Peppered by no fewer than six individual mountain lakes, perched more than 3,000 meters up in the rugged peaks of the Hindu Kush and forged by millennia of fascinating geological movements, the whole area is a wondrous place to behold. Number 10 Kabul Kabul has been plunged in chaos since the takeover of the Mujahideen and Al-Qaeda, the Taliban insurgents, and other factions after the start of the country's modern wars. Despite the presence of peacekeeping forces, insurgents lurk in the shadows of the city, striking with bombs and attacks every now and then. It's a sad state of affairs for a capital with so much to offer. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.